So now we've got Gil spelt incorrectly versus Dexus with a three instead of an E. Um, S1 versus a Sprout. This doesn't seem like a very balanced match. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a mismatch already, doesn't it? Who lined this one up? Welcome to the Gun. We're, this is the headline match, people. Let's all be hype. GG's to everyone, but unfortunately, you were merely fluffers for what is going to be this ultimate <laughs> battle. <laughs> Cole, where's the, where can I, I need to bet all my monies. Someone needs to do the poll. Yeah, do the poll. Come on. Oh, here we go. When Judas Priest sing about breaking the law, they are just randomly being randomly rude to a cheater. Oh, there's all sorts of ways to break the law. There's at least three that I can think of. Two of those are just different types of murder. Yeah, skill is on Huang now. Um, Has he said why? Uh, yeah, he well, he's not very happy with Mitsu in his current state. Um, I don't know. I know he doesn't like Setsuka very much either. He like doesn't think he's very good. Um, he requires like a bit load of practice or, or what is essentially the same reward as every other character. Which you know is what I thought Setsuka players wanted. They all complained that no, oh, I don't want it to be easy. Oh, I don't like these non-just frame inputs. Oh, what's these easy inputs? Oh, and then immediately dropped her. Like every single fucking one. I'm sorry, but if you ask for Setsuka, fuck you, because every one of you is a bitch. You all complained and said you wanted her to be difficult, and then when she was, you're like, Oh, how come I don't get to win for doing the difficult inputs? Because that's fucking stupid game design, that's why. Do you know anyway. how I, I, I actually view Setska? I, I literally view her, she's basically if you prestige, right? Yes! <laughs> she's literally, she's like all the people that play her are people that are really good with their mains to the point where they just destroy most people in ranked, so they're like, oh, I'm going to prestige and use a sub-optimal <laughs> character and see if I can still win with Setska. She is exactly that. She is. I am going to show off just how much better I am than you. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, exactly. <laughs> But anyway, um, two decent players playing. Uh, they're doing the player things. I really don't really know what to comment on what Huang is doing other than the number that's next to his name, which yeah. is really helpful for commentary, where you can just be like, He's gone. the number is low. He's in He's... trouble. The number's He's... gone back up. That's good. It's minus seven on his GME stock, but it's fine. He closes <laughs> the round. <laughs> and he also... I don't understand. I really dislike. So the character looks sick, right? And the moves like all flow super dope and shit. But yeah. I don't know why when they went for like his special modes and effects, they gave him smelly sim mode, just unhygienic this, sim. I have pointed this out so many times. This must have gone through so many design iterations and people and executives and decision makers, because this is how business works. And they've shown them that and they've gone, Yes, that's the look we want. Yeah, just make sure it's coming out from directly under his arms. You know, this cannot have any negative conversations whatsoever. What could possibly, what could be read into that? It's just a green, ominous aura coming out from his armpit. I don't know what like, especially when they had effects that would have already been super dope, like, uh, like Taki's effect, right? When she's soul charged and it's like the runes or whatever light up and... Yeah. Uh, who else has got the dank runes? Servi's got dank runes, right? Yeah. And it's super cool. Like, he could just have had runes that light up, but instead they gave him smelly fucking armpits. Yeah, I I would love to know how we ended up with this. Huang is stinky because he plays Smash. That explains why he can dance as well. <laughs> Are we getting raided by Edge? Edge, I didn't even know you streamed. I just knew you were Russian and, like, basically your personality, I guess. Oh, and you're free. I assume that's the same edge that plays as well and is Russian. Um, also, round one CE, was that? That was a know. round one CE. He did yeah. uh, maximize his meter gain by using the RE mechanic. Why look sick? Much is sicker it? without that hat. I like the hat, but it is a bit bloodborne. Well, it's like all things that really cool it's like when you're in school and someone gets like the new uh like adidas predators and then everyone's got adidas predators and now no all of a sudden you're not the cool kid at school no more christ you are nearly as old as me aren't you yeah <laughs> that is a reference everyone in chat right now is like, what the fuck is an adidas predator <laughs> you don't know you you don't even know kids were born yesterday 
Good interrupt. Oh, well. Hold on a fucking second. All of Dex's HP bar, that was all 1-3-B. <laughs> what the fuck happened? That was, like, literally just a, a mega anime series of small caliber there that literally just deleted his health bar. Oh, it yeah, was just it was just it. Dexus trying to move or hold guard, and then it was just like like two A's and little lows that just deleted him over time. Thank you for not pronouncing Adidas like Adidas. Yeah, we um you can tell by the accents we have. Um, I was gonna say an education, but you know we were brought up in a country that didn't decide to butcher the English language. Fortunately. Oh, these U's are too complicated. Let's remove them all. <laughs> Aluminium? Yeah. That's too many syllables. <laughs> well, and, but then they, they do overcomplicate certain words. Like, like what? There's a tap. A faucet. Faucet. I quite like the word faucet. That is definitely an English word, isn't it? Oh, please, darling, would you turn on the faucet? <laughs> oh. oh, shit. That was actually a sick kind of, uh, And then he fluffs it. Can't yeah. do more than one ABA in a set. Everything else comes out as a reverse ledge or A plus B. I always thought his Ares were intentional. Is that? Are you telling me that's not the case? Have you broken <laughs> the uh, illusion? Uh... <laughs> Dexus is the best C3 player I know, and he is also the worst at doing AGA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit, that fucked him up. Uh, yeah, let's get a 2-0 up. Are we going to get an early night? I've got to drink the rest of this beer. Hmm. Welcome to the stage of history retold. You know what, I have to give it to the Belgians. They do make the best beer. This and is chocolate. six and a half percent. Six and a half, and it's fucking delicious. The only six and a half percent beer we get is like special brew. <laughs> yeah, it's for people that don't go to pubs, but go to park benches. Yeah, exactly. If, I mean, if, you st if your porn stash isn't on a computer, but it's under a bush in a park, you probably drink special fruit. <laughs> drink special fruit. <laughs> Nobody will find it here. Belgian beer is best, I agree, yeah. I mean, and I like a lot of British beers. Like, they do a great ale, but this, fuck it. This is quality stuff. Are you ready to hear how much of a real man I am out here? Yeah, because this you know, the only beer that I kind of drink are the pissy yellow Mexican ones like Soul and Desperado. Oh, yeah. I used to love Desperado. Can't can't stand them anymore, though. I think it's when I turned 19 I couldn't drink them anymore. You're saying you matured? I th you know, I, I genuinely, I used to fucking love them. My favourite beer. Didn't drink one for about 10 years, and I had one about a year ago. Well, this is fucking disgusting. What the hell? I think they changed the formula. But anyway, yeah. You, uh, you drink pissy beers. Yeah, I bet you're like a whiskey fan, aren't you? I uh, can't. Yeah, I'm more of a spirit drinker. But yeah, I can't, I can't get into whiskey. It tastes nutty to me, and I'm not a fan of nutty flavours. <laughs> Tau! Tau! Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Lion. I, I actually know exactly the friend he's talking about, who uh, hopefully he's not watching. He probably is not. <laughs> <laughs> You can always trust an alcoholic. <laughs> they're, they're fussy with their tipples of choice, aren't they? They won't just drink any old shite. What shite unless, of course, unless, of course, they live by the park benches. <laughs> I've never heard okay. of China Bot. I, uh, when I went to Evo, I got some local beers. I bought a, a pack of uh, some ale. I was like, oh, this, this might be good. I got some ale. And I, I offered someone one, and they were like, oh no, I don't really drink Fat Tire. That was the name of it. And I have one, and I found out why they don't drink it. I had to get rid of the rest of that shit as well. I think I might have left some of it, because there was a Salty Sweet, right? So there was like, uh, they were, where they did the team tournament after Evo. Um, and they had a cooler just full of beer. And I'm pretty sure I remember trading some of my beer for their, theirs. Like, I just put some of mine in their cooler, and then never had any of it. Oh, did you when you was in Vegas? Sorry, I think Texas is going to win his first. Uh, nah, first he's going to lose. Watch, steal it. Oh, you Belgium. fucking cool. Anyway. Okay, I thought I, I did actually think that was in uh, Texas's. Go on, Texas, be a winner. But um, 
when you was in Vegas, did you have any of the alcoholic slush puppy drink things? Uh, can't remember. I genuinely can't remember. I think they were serving them at that um that Red Bull arcade thing in the uh, the Luxor. Yeah, because but basically you go out there and you buy a bucket and you can get refills all along the strip. Oh, no, we didn't go out in the strip much. Oh, do you know what? I I, I found one of my uh, favorite derogatory... Oh, no. Dexus was... He's a that might kill. Yeah, that, that killed, unfortunately. That No, uh... but Dexus is like the uh, speed runs are becoming less of a speed run each time. So Dexus is clearly being a learning computer and uh, he might start to um, he cannot bridge lose, the gap. Yeah, he, he cannot He lose. is a learner. Dex is definitely an adaptive player. Like, I can but, get him in a first or two, but rarely, rarely more than that. But I did find out um, the derogatory term. So when I was in Vegas and, like, talking to people and that... Are and we going to get banned know, for this? No, no. It's okay, just cool. a derogatory term that they call different um, ladies that you pay for for particular type of goods and services. Masseuses? Right. Oh, I fucking love them. Yeah, they, it's a similar kind of service as yeah. uh, a masseuse. And they... I found out that there's... If they are of a certain quality, there was one name that wasn't funny, so I've forgotten it. Then there's another name that for, like, a mid-tier one. But the ropey ones, the really, really, like, entry-level um, masseuse, but not masseuse, yeah. is referred to as a lizard. A <laughs> lizard. Right? And the reason why they're called lizards is because they, like, it's bait what they are. So they're not allowed in the hotels, so they have to stand out in the strip and they get sunburned. <laughs> so they just get cracked skin. So they're just referred to as lizards. Um, oh my god. And I just found that absolutely, like... <laughs> that's... That might, that's my favourite fact of the day, at the very least. <laughs> Yeah, because I went to some um, other place when I was in Vegas where. Uh... Oh, it could have been. Be scale scale with with pri pri yeah, I like I that. Just, I just want to point out this man's native language is French, so that's doubly impressive. Is it really? No, yeah. good shit. GG's. But, okay. um... <laughs> Europeans putting us to shame yet again. But, uh, yeah, I went to some, like, cigar place where you go there and pretend to like you put a cowboy hat on and smoke cigars and shit and pretend to be cooler than what you actually are and there was explaining it to me there it was like seen any lizards around i'm like what like real lizards <laughs> like <laughs> and yeah, yeah thank you ramon like for the uh for the sub it's appreciated yeah thanks ramon i am a sub of yours by somebody else's hand like i can do things like poster pop tops I, I I was also a sub by someone else's hand, but they didn't do it again, so now it's down to oh, me to prick. redo it. Yeah, I know, right? Unbelievable. <laughs> so, now all of a sudden, I need to sub to Ramon myself. Oh, actual money. Oh, Dex has got his first win. Yeah, nice. I mean, they're, they're, watching, they're watching the game anyway. They know what's happening. They don't you know, say it, do they? Welcome to the yeah, it's Bitcoin money, but it could also be the other way around. My Bitcoin money could actually yeah. pay for my Ramon sub. <laughs> On the other hand, think of how much money that, that sub could be worth if you put it in Bitcoin now. Yeah, this is true. Fantastic. Oh, you just linked Tao's stream in her own stream? Because I yeah, think that but that gave the most me... redundant thing that's ever been done. No, he's, he's reminded we've got the other thing, the donate thing. Yeah, to, to get the people to oh, do the... Yeah. Yeah, we... Americans are in here. They like fucking chuck money at every tournament. Yeah. Like, oh, a weekly at NLBC? Yeah, two grand, whatever. Do you think there's Americans in here that don't know who these people are and we should introduce them? Mm. Do... Dexus. Well, the, thing, the funny thing about Dexus is, like, Americans don't know how good he is and they, like, refuse to acknowledge him because he never goes to offline because, like, he's, like, new and sold out of a six and shit. And, like, a, um, anti social skilled, like, Retard, basically. I've met him, I can say. We're friends. So I yeah, can... you're, you, you can get... Um, I, I'm not on that. I'm not on his level. So we were basically, like, thinking of crowdfunding to send him to NLBC just to, like, ruin all their fucking days. Because they, they will not accept that he's legit. That's fucking hilarious when he does. 
Well, do you know my one of my favourite ever NLB sale moments was Neon versus Linkors. Oh yeah, our boy Neon and Milo, they went over there, didn't they? They, they did an NLBC and uh, Neon bodied Linkors for the first set when uh, Linkors used um, Gerald and Neon teabagged him and then didn't win a round afterwards. That's <laughs> the Linkors special though. I don't think, genuinely, I don't think I've ever seen Linkors win game one. He always loses game one, game one and then he fucks them up. I think he sandbags super hard and just does a bunch of shit that he will never do again, just to condition his opponent into dying. I don't. I I actually think it's that inner. Oh wow, what a call! Did he just alright? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Genius. And that's dead. And he was only at minus. He didn't even have to go into his full overdraft of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, did he? He was only at <laughs> minus six Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh card overdraft. <laughs> 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 like, to the stage of history. oh, after game one, he drinks water. Um, yeah, oh yeah, he's got the, the water tech on cooldown. But no, I, yeah. I kind of always think it's, you know, when you've got the nerdy kid at school that snaps and he'll like beat up the Chad, like he'll beat up like the American equivalent of the quarterback. That never like, happened at my school, everyone was quite... No, nice. see, it happened quite a few times in my school because you've kind of got like the roadman or whatever that think oh, they're yeah, quite bad. Yourself, yeah. yeah, 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 you're probably from a more affluent part of the United Kingdom than I. But, yeah, uh, I was like north of London, so in Bedfordshire... But uh, quite a rural area. You sound like a Hitchin boy. Um, <laughs> oh no, actually, I've been out in Hitchin quite a few times. Hitchin is full of clums. If you don't know what clums is, don't ask. <laughs> you know, you I'm know. familiar. Uh, the, is it the picture and piano by any chance you used to go to? Um, I actually don't remember. Okay, fine. But the square, the Hitchin square, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Harpenden, by the way, another good one. If you, uh, if you want to go out, slug and lettuce there. Very nice. I've, anyway. I've been, yeah, anyway, uh, what was I talking, yeah, so in my school, like, you did actually have, there was a few occasions where one of the people that used to go around thinking there was hard, um, <laughs> get absolutely dunked on by a nerd, and it was always the greatest moment, because, like, it permanently changes the nerd a little bit, right, they, yes. they get this <laughs> new level of confidence for the rest of their life that just won't be shaken and then it also will permanently change the roadman because if he ever tries to get rude at you it's like yeah but you got punched you in got the face slip, shit yeah. by Billy Four Eyes yeah, yeah, yeah literally up. the same guy yeah it's like literally you got beaten up by a William <laughs> really, <laughs> nobody's ever been hard as fucking William so that is fair <laughs> except maybe William Wallace but he, he got hung drawn and quartered in the end so you know William the Conqueror never heard of him. Sounds like a right bitch. <laughs> he just played Conquer Battles. <laughs> and William was the name of the Conquer. It was like it was like the Dread Pirate Roberts kind of thing. It was not one person, it was just the Conquer that was <laughs> <me. laughs> Oh. Skill was going into his Yu-Gi-Oh overdraft again. Minus eight. He he really needs to close this round out, otherwise he's gonna have a hard time. Should we comment on this match before it like the whole thing ends because if he wins this that's it he's gone full overdraft he didn't reverse a legit see or resist impact it see he told you it's bullshit if skill can't do it i mean i do it but i'm a genius i'm a god oh, oh he no i, I thought he was too. well dead no. okay um it realigned uh what's his face um Siegfried is full of that bullshit, that nonsense. That's not a ring out, it, is it? No, but that's only because Dexus was super fortunate or intelligent to step there, because that shit catches me out every time, man. I get bullied by that AGI that rings you out from, uh, or the reverse ring out one. I don't know what Huang does, so I'm probably free to that shit, but I'm pretty sure I'd fuck up skills, um, Huang. Just on, you know, I just press AA and BB till he dies. Oh. What an interrupt. Yeah, that was Dexus, good shit. Dexus cannot lose. That was actually really good. Dark Legacy kicking in. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Mm. Father Ramon, now. I legit RI every time online. 
hard. It is doable. It's just like if you're trying to step and shit, and then you're like, oh fuck, now I need to RI, and then your RI doesn't come out. <laughs> you got FIFA juggled. <laughs> <laughs> I could actually believe Ramon doing that because he's a better veteran. Yeah. He, so he he was like GIing back when it was hard, and you had to know whether to do a forward or back GI. So all right for him is just it's casual. All right, it's still a really weird input for me. That's basically the only thing I use it for. Oh, and for guessing wrong when they're going to soul charge. But in my defense, when I think they're going to soul charge, they should soul charge, and they're too shit to do it. So yes. it's a correct read, but they're bad. Don't. I, I actually had this argument with Fotten. I think it was yesterday. So he did something dumb, and I told him it was dumb. Or the other way around, it was probably more likely I did something dumb and he told me it was dumb. And then I was like, yeah, but I was making a read. And he was like, oh, it's only a read if it works. No. And, and then I disagree. I think you can make a read that didn't pan out. You're still making it. Yeah, yeah you still make a read. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I made a read, but I'm illiterate. Fine. Yeah. The risk I took was calculated. Man, am I bad at math? Oh, look at that! De everybody, Dex has just guessed wrong on reverse leg. I've never seen that, that's why yeah. I'm speechless. I don't. I, I was trying to think of something either like profound or funny to say, and just the shock I was overwhelmed with. Eventually these commentators will commentate. On what's happening in the chat, maybe, yes. You don't need us to commentate the game, you are watching it. You are, we might are not, not be. place to tell you what's happened, you can see it as well. And also, neither of us know what the fuck Huang does, so what am I going to tell you? Uh, skills always right there. There you go, boom. Beard? There we go. There you go, stinky armpits. It's got the Definitely stim similar like hygiene mode. Represent that. Had to be smelly armpits. It's the combination, right? The fact that it didn't have to be green, and it didn't have to come out of his armpits. Change either one of them. How did they come up with this? Why was this... Uh, whatever. Anyway. I can't look at it seriously, it's just awful. I wonder if Dexus is actually figuring out what Huang is doing. Because he's a very I think so, player. yeah, look, I mean it's much closer. Who was it? Was it you yeah, that I mean, came no. up with the theory that if someone uses a character that you don't know what they do and they win, it's cheating? Yes, I, I if I didn't That's come up with it, I subscribe to it. Sounds like a decent theory. Cause that's like, you know, like you're you're playing like tic tac toe or whatever. Somebody turns up, they start drawing triangles on the board. Yeah. Like, What's going on? Oh, well, you should have lapped the match up. Oh, also, skill just won. I actually really appreciate Skill's patience. As soon as Dark Legacy kicks in, do you notice it? It's just like he starts playing a different game. Oh, just, um, like... I've I've just read on the the scoreboard. It says first to ten. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Oh, sorry, did you, up, when you said skill just won, you thought he meant where you can have your beer now? Mate, my pants were already off. I was going to get in the bar. Ah, uh, okay. Close back up. All right. Uh, skill, five rounds. Five games straight. You can do it. Anyone can do it. Probably key, but you're a close second. Let's go. I wonder if skills Huang is actually better than his Mitsu. Because Mitsu suck, sucks balls, right? We, we all acknowledge that. I bet there are people in chat who don't. It's like Gilu sitting up. And I think Mitsu's good. You're wrong, Gilu. I don't know if that is a, your opinion, but if it is, you're wrong. Also, isn't that minus 14? Did he just not manage to punish it with an AA? Because that, that looked like his punish just went straight through Secret's head. Uh, it's minus I don't 12. I you're still watching the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's minus 12, but yeah. But it did, it. Yeah, yeah, it did look like it went through his head. Yeah, it went clean through his fucking head. Alright, round two. Electric Boogaloo. Minus one. That's fine, I think. Who knows the lethal hit for that? Uh, for what? The lethal hit that just went off. Shit, I was looking at the chat. I was yelling oh, right. at again for no particular reason other than I saw his name. Bro, oh, skill literally just absolutely chaining lethal hits for days. Yeah, the back grab lethal hits, uh, if you hit it, I think, 
If that, yeah, I think the back uh, hits if they tech forward, then at least will hit. An opponent on full meter, the other one. So he's going to get farmed with that until he starts using his meter. I suppose that's actually quite an interesting. Um, that's like the counterplay. Just let the other person land the RE in exchange for you getting unlimited lethal hits until they burn their meter. Huh. Is that going to kill? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, fuck that's, me. That's very dead. That's a lot of back, back throw damage. I know the lethal hits, but you're on your own. Gila, can you please commentate for the people in chat? We don't know what the fuck's going on. And then they can just read, you know, they don't have to listen to us and we can continue talking about whatever the fuck we've been talking about for the last... How long have we been here? I don't know, beers and mortgages though, that seemed to be uh, probably one of the better topics. Yeah. I mean, the beer, yeah, the beer stuff's really cracking stuff. American <laughs> beer stuff pissed. What's that break? What's, what's, what American beer and fucking uh, sleeping in a... Having sex in a canoe got in common. It's both fucking Very close, close to water. water. I've heard the same thing, but it's about um, Foster's on the beach. Oh yeah, that's fair enough. I think Foster's is a perfectly like it's a serviceable lager. I'll I'll enjoy a pint of Foster. It's not what I'll pick, but it's enjoyable. You know? I also, I like to be fair, I also think Budweiser is a very good lager. I think it's one of the better ones. So props to you, American. Well done. Is it... Oh wow. You can R.I. that on reaction, I don't know if you're listening. Oh. <laughs> Sieg seems weak, says a man talking about somebody playing against the best player in the world, probably. De oh. Yeah, definitely one of the best players, right? I mean, for me personally, he is the best. He's the champ. Uh, but there's definitely some contenders like Lincoln and Blue God and Key. But... Uh, I'm sure somebody from England is good enough. No. <laughs> Japan, I guess you Toto, but you Toto got yeah. the fuck blown out of him like the last time everyone went went to bat, didn't they? Have you, didn't he come second or something? He came. He, he came well, second yeah. in uh, wasn't it Evo America, right? Uh, might have been Japan. It was. Japan. I can't remember. Yeah, I yeah. think it was Japan. In fact, Neon and Milo would know because it was one of their "Who wants to be a Danillionaire?" Uh, questions. Which, by the way, I still don't understand that portmanteau. Danillionaire? Why have you pronounced Mill with Dan? I, no, I don't, because he's trying to... He's, it's a play in words. It's fine. I just love the fact... The only... I, I really could not not stop watching that, because the Neon just look, looked like Jeremy Beadle. Fuck me, he did look like that was his first time appearing in court, didn't he? <laughs> It's amazing. So it doesn't matter what kind of tie I wear, right? Bow tie's fine, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't need a haircut. If you guys haven't watched that episode, if you want to be a Denny an hour, I'd, I'd recommend it. If you want to see Milo's guest power at work in a non-caliber setting, it's ideal. Oh, okay. Dex is special. Actually, no, that's more of the... Um... No, it's confirmed. Skill is the best. Third at Evo, first at the World Invitational. I don't remember the World Invitational. It was hella, hella dope. That yeah, was that some was... good shit. Uh, that, yeah, okay. And Utoto, yeah, Utoto won Evo America, that's right. And then Drathion beat him in the team tournament and it was hype as fuck. Oh yeah, and Nubicide as well, if he still plays. I always forget about Nubicide, but he's a fucking killer. I don't know why I forget about him. He's quite quiet in real life. He looks like he would stab you, but he's actually quite quiet. And... Oh, is he one of those looks really, like, oppressive? He, looks he, like he, he just he just looks like he, his wardrobe is full of Adidas track suits. But it's not oh, him. right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's quite a nice man. And very young as well. I think he was only 19 when Evo had. Yeah, he's still on Apex. I think he's like a, an Apex champion. He's just one of those god-tier gamers in general. Yeah, Milo's being... explaining how he guesses right. The other answers are wrong, so don't pick them. Genius. That does sound like flawless Milo's logic. It does. You know how many times I saw this man get blackjack at a blackjack table? Just incredible. Loads. I mean, he's already been gifted with the superior gene, so blackjack's just, you know, easy he for him. He does have enough. superior genes. You've just got to look at his jawline to know that. Oh, uh, yes. And his naturally silver hair. 
<laughs> it's Cisco silver the hair. <laughs> but it's natural, unlike Cisco's. And his natural ability to pick out a suit with an actual tie instead of a bow tie. Did you just did you just see skill get lethal hit for trying to step the step? I was having a drink, unfortunately. Uh, uh, was it um, B6 uh, or whatever that? Side hold B? Yeah, that one. Yeah, it just happened again, so I got to see it again. At that time, it looked like skill was oh, done. Yeah, he did. Yeah, the it first time, I am. Um, it looked like skill was like, nope, I'm getting the fuck out, and then the game was like, no, you don't. Oh, we have a comment in French in chat. I can't understand what it says. I assume it's something nice. Do you if you wouldn't mind translating? And, or there are several French people Ooh. in chat, or at least French speakers in chat. Holy fuck! Yeah. You could talk about running out, because otherwise it would have killed. Dear lord. At least that combo is difficult to pull off, though, right? You've got to do six AA twice in a row without like drooling on your controller and fucking up the buttons. Right. Yeah, and just don't press the B button in between the AAs, right, and your golden. See, when people ask me why I think Nightmare Ooh. is a worse version of Siegfried, this is the shit I'm talking about. You actually punish Nightmare when he's wrong. Siegfried just spins out of it. It's like, haha, actually, it's you who will get launched. There we go. He. I don't know Siegfried. if I agree with you there. I'm going to disagree with you there. Because... <laughs> You're not punishing someone if they're doing a transition into stance, but I will have that opinion as a talent main. Yeah, well, you know, you're also a degenerate. Welcome to the stage of history. Um, I think what he means, Gilu, is we're going to have to do a little bit of back and forth here, translating. Uh, there we go, he bought the sofa in his breath. I think that means that he's like, he's in got a mind. read on him. Yeah, he's in his head and he understands what's going on now. And they said, and then, ouch, the sofa has some sharp spring. Yeah, okay, so he's he's doing things that are unexpected, and it's not quite as comfy in the guy's head as he thinks it is. Um, I tell you what, if we get any more... That's French rather films, poetic, gonna, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just going to leave them. Maybe not in translated. Oh, look at all these lurkers who are getting called out with a sock. <laughs> Cambo, yeah, so we see here. you. <laughs> they said shit in chat, have you? Not one of you said shit in chat. <laughs> now you've been called out. Somebody's gifted you a sub. And now you've at least got to say thank you. Or just be AFK like I generally am when I get gifted subs. Or not even in the fucking stream. Well. I didn't want to have to talk to you for six hours. I like the callback to our earlier discussion, yeah. Tapioca. Also the best is if you just fall asleep to Twitch and you wake up and you're like, look at all these amazing gift subs I've got. Dude, I have been gifted subs for channels I have never been in, that I am not currently in. Uh, because at some point I fell asleep and I got auto-hosted into their channel after like yeah. six times and somebody gifted a bunch of subs. So I've got into people's channel just like, I have no idea who the fuck you are, but thank you for the uh, emotes. Yeah, I love that shit. That shit's glorious. You know what? Can we just give Dexus some props because he's not getting a train run through him like he was in the first part. I know you're never going to do it after you because, you know, like, you're like rivals and shit. Yeah, but, but he know. is doing well. I told you, he's an adaptive player. The longer a set goes on, the more likely it is that Dexus will make a comeback, except for that, that time when I first attended him and I beat him, obviously. You know, so How many times have you done it either. since then, in the first uh, attempt? Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Like, the fact <laughs> is <that's> <laughs> no, the first... Oh, you're not one of those ones. You're like, oh, give me a first to ten, and then you win, and then on the run back, you just either refuse, or it doesn't well, count because you won the first one. Yeah, well, the run back is like, it doesn't matter because the first one was streamed, so everybody watched me beat your ass. Um, you just beat me in a private lobby and I'll de deny it ever happened. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't beat you many times since. And Ailes keeps slapping my shit now as well, so I can't beat either of them. Sorry, did you see that evasion? That was actually sick. That was actually pretty fucking sick, yeah. He ducked and then he stepped. Mm. Apparently that's the thing. Uh, but then he needs to the counter hit at the end of that string. He tried to interrupt with the while rising K. Yeah, he actually blocked the low, got the right read on the low, but obviously unfamiliarity without uh, with um Huang strings made him eat the second. So what you're saying after is the first victory against someone is the only one that counts. Shut up man who beat me at offline tournament once. 
the only one we've ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My man calling you out of my head. I know, what a motherfucker. I don't even know who I, I would fight in RFC. Um, I don't want to fight Ailes because I'll just get bodied by him pressing 4 a million times. Who even would I fucking fight? Oh, play? wow. See, Dex is starting to understand now. I love the fact that Dexus is... I don't know anyone, like, considering actually Sieg is Ari isn't, like, the worst to deal with. I don't Sorry, know anyone. What? Sorry? It's not Dex, um, Sieg's You Ari's. know it's one of the best ones in the game, right? No, it's not the worst. Nightmares will fuck you up way, way worse. No, there, there are things that, um, you can step against Nightmare that you can't step against Siegfried. Because the hitbox for the, uh, the release is so big. It's not quite as fast, but it has a fat fucking hitbox. So like Zas 2B plus K, that's safe against Nightmare, but not against Siegfried. Really? Yeah. Okay. Just because it just and it covers the all area. It's like, uh, I think only Gloomy, uh, only Jolly Tira has better recovery. Right, okay. And possibly Yoshi as well, actually, because he's got really godlike recovery, but his sucks balls, so that's fair. Yeah, that's... I'm with Gideon. Yeah, you can duck that on reaction, man. Stuck the K on reaction. I know you can do it. You fucking GI my six AAs on reaction. Like, just what, as soon as Zas puts his hand on the scythe for the second, you're just like, oh, GI, fuck you, you don't get to play the game. Such a prick. But no, he refuses to duck the side reverse, Siegfried reverse side hold K. Do you know that's what the S stands for? Siegfried. Siegfried. Why? I wonder if it's a holdover nightmare was basic Siegfried, so there was like nightmare reverse side hold K. Can any old players confirm my theory? Is it? Oh, I like the fact that skill gave him some some uh, RE treatment back. I, I'm now I yeah. am now going to also start avoiding the mix-ups. You don't generally use reversal edge against Dexter's because even if like you make him eat it, he'll just guess right. Yeah. It... Wow. Oh, that was really nice. Yeah, that was good shit. But I don't think that's even punishable unless it transitions. Apparently, the original Japanese is Dex to hold and Sinister hold. So the Japanese uses the Latin, which our language is based on, but we translated it to the English. It doesn't, it doesn't even make sense. Oh, people outside of the EU can understand what you're saying. You're a rock and roller. Did you mean to say can't understand what you're saying? In which case, I'm pretty sure most of the non-English people can't understand what I'm saying. Yeah, there you go. It's fine. I'll fix your English for you. You're American, so I'm used to it. <laughs> oh, my. Why don't you copy paste a Wikipedia article about that, you prick? Imagine trying to throw. That's all I do. That's basically all I do. When you put me on commentary, I don't know what you're expecting. Sometimes the deeper, more slightly philosophical meanings of life. Yeah, and beer. Sometimes you talk about Belgian beer. Yeah, that, that's fairly regular. Oh! Oh, fuck me. Oh, he nearly killed Oh, no, he killed him. Yeah, Dexus is finding the gaps. Yeah, Dexus is starting to understand what, um, what Huang does. He learned pretty quickly because knowing Dexus, he probably did zero labbing before this. Do you remember his uh, thing? Uh, one of the big events that he was in uh, was on the PlayStation 1, and... It was like an actual Bandai event, and he said he prepared for this by playing Genshin Impact. Yeah, I expect <laughs> Skill did that as well. Oh, did they, 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 they both do it? Yeah, he's Skill is um, he's on the Genshin Impact train as well. There's like our community has been basically destroyed by people playing Genshin Impact. I used to get loads of people on Discord just like hanging out and playing Caliber and shit, and Gigalu teaching them what frames were. Mm. And now it's just people on Genshin Impact, and occasionally we fire up um, Deep Rock Galactic. Exactly, fuck labbing. If I wanted to do homework, I would have stayed in school. I mean, I technically did. I went to university. Yeah, I was going to say, you're literally did... a uni student. Yeah, I, I didn't do very well at university, so that's how much I wanted to do homework. 
But that's because they had Belgian beer to distract you. Mate. Do you know what my my fucking um uh what's it called? My student union, right? They got in trouble because they were offering buy one get one free on drinks like every fucking day pretty much. Um it was fucking great. And they got in trouble for it because they were like, this promotes drinking. Um, because obviously they're giving you a free drink every time you get a drink. So instead, they changed it to 50% off drinks. Yeah, that's, it, yeah, it's no different. That annoys me. I already knew where that was Fucking going. Heroic. As someone that works in sales, I pull that bullshit all the time, <laughs> right? It's no different. The maths is the same. <laughs> but this way, like, you didn't have to drink the second drink, right? You could just buy one drink and then go back to the bar and buy the second drink anyway, because obviously you're gonna... Yeah. But they look like better people for it. Um, I studied mechanical engineering. That's what I did. I lab in card games, but not fighting. What do you mean lab in card games? You just read the cards. Yeah, you just read the cards and hope you get a Zodia, right? And then you're the Yu-Gi-Oh champion. I genuinely, I have thought about installing the Yu-Gi-Oh online thing and just having an Exodia deck and just, just pissing people off because it's got like something like a 35% chance to draw it if you build a deck to do it. And that's all I do, just ruin people's day. Yeah. No interest in learning the game whatsoever. Well, just, well you are a Zass main, time. right? So of course, it's like, it's like, I just want my three stacks. If I'm good enough to get my three curses, then, then I'm the winner. I'll just do the red shield of Yu-Gi-Oh trap card and be the winner. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no interest in a positive win rate, only for ruining the experience for other so, players. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not too dissimilar. 35% chance to ruin somebody's game. No, that means you play three games and you've ruined someone's day. Yeah. I take those. I take those all day long. And then when you do Exodia in RN meta, you're just a trash dude who play a draw deck in one turn. Yeah, that's fine. I don't, I'm not pretending I'd be good at it. I would just piss people off. Which is ideal, because that's the game itself fucking them. You go sets a best of three. Oh, really? Oh, that does reduce the chances of ruining it. But I'd still do it. Not one, two, every set. There's like a distribution, you know. It's actually, uh, well, I guess about a ninth. Yeah, it'd be like one, dog. one, two, like six out, of, six out of nine times, roughly, right? Yeah. Which is, you know, I'll take those odds. Uh. And then it'll be three losses the other time, and then the one in nine, one in ten times, you've you've hurt someone's feels. Oh you shit! Oh. Did you just notice skill step, um, base hold, uh, no, see reverse side hold D. Actually, that's a really smart idea because then if you guess wrong on the K, uh, you don't get the lead from it. I mean, personally, I don't bother because I can just duck the K on reaction because I'm a god. Um, <laughs> Do you want to know what I do? I just mash 6k. Just yeah. mash 6k. It's fine. But you're a degenerate Starlin player. And you get to... <laughs> just RE cancel, bro. Man, fuck 6k. I don't know why the fuck they put that button in the game. <laughs> you, know, you know not a single Talim ask for it, but we got it anyway. Oh, Wait, is it a combo? Oh, that's tight as fuck. And that, I think, will kill. Yeah, just the, just the last... They added cards to avoid those kind of things. Alright, maybe I won't install it in Ganondorf. Yeah. I just want... wanted to piss people off, you know. Well, I actually play. Oh, wow. I'd be like... I'd be the Lurky of, um... Of, uh... <laughs> yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! Lurky of Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. I just hang around, playing like shit, but occasionally stealing the game and leaving. Do you know who I haven't seen who used to be like that to me as well? H-Buggy. Who knows where H-Buggy is these days? H-Buggy's around somewhere, I think. I haven't seen um, him in ages. Although, I, no, shit. I forgot. I, In my brain, him and H-Buggy, uh, him and Monkey King, like, oh, occupy a person. similar place, yeah. Well, they are the same person with two different names. They both use, like, default Killick, and... Also, they do have fucked him up. Yeah. Skilled at absolutely speedrunning. I actually, there are loads of players that I haven't, haven't played in forever. Like, Hayate, I don't think I've played in a year. Kiridems, I haven't seen. Jesus, that is so weird. I was literally just saying, Kiridems, I don't think I've seen online. And he just came online. Yeah. And he's literally just online now. Yeah, so the first time weird. I've seen him online in a while. How very odd. Um, 
Yeah, I only did. Uh, I've only fought Hayate once, and uh, it went as as it normally goes fighting me. If you, I started doing okay. It's like, yeah, we'll just do a first to fifteen. I want to do some talent practice, and then I like won the first like five, and then he was like. Oh, you do the same thing all the time. <laughs> yeah, right. You figured me out. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit. Counterplay? I don't know. Oh well, what a call cool out. Dude, did you see the 3B damage that he did round one? It was a back turn 3B <laughs> launch, and it. He yeah. didn't even spend any talismans on it. It just did like 90 damage. Fucking nuts. Yeah, you can just block that on reaction, by the way, skill. So I'll get I'll, I'll give you some lessons afterwards, skill. Don't worry about it. Um, what's going on in the chat? Sorry, I should be watching the game, really. But everyone else is watching the game, so I don't really need to do it for you, do I? Oh shit! Look at these steps. These stepping strings I don't know exist. <laughs> It, yeah, no, Kellerat, it genuinely is a shit mix-up. You can just stay on the ground and block the mid on reaction. And then if I, you, uh... I've only only really, today is the day I learned that if there's certain mix-ups you want to avoid, just play possum. You really didn't know. I honestly didn't... didn't know that was a thing. Some moves don't hit grounded. No, because I always get hit by moves by just, like, holding the guard button and shit. No one tells you this shit. Um, I didn't know about just God giving me meter. I didn't know about GIs giving me meter. I don't okay. even know. Nobody, nobody except twice a day <laughs> knew about uh, GIs giving you meter if you get it on frame one. Like, I, I had no fucking clue about that. I didn't even know that GIs gave you meter in general. Oh, see, I did yeah. actually know that, and we have a winner. We do. Um, wait, is that put skill on nine, or is that put him on ten? That's his tenth. Oh shit! Yeah. Ah, oh, commiserations to my boy Dexus. He fought um, valiantly, I would say. He did. Congratulations to All Hail the King skill. Prediction result is Gil with a talisman. What? Did he uh, win with a talisman?